Imagine an AI tool so powerful that can create full length YouTube videos. Not just clips, not just shorts, but full 10 to 20 minute detailed videos just by using a single text prompt. Now you've probably heard the wannabe gurus talking about AI tools such as Leonardo, Midjourney, or even OpenAI Sora. But most of these tools are either still unavailable to the public, can produce only low quality short clips, or are still in development. But right now, there's a new AI video generator that's ready for anyone to use. And it can create fully monetizable YouTube videos with everything done for you, like music, voiceovers, editing, and even generating the video clips themselves. So in this video, I'm gonna show you exactly how this tool works, what it is, and how you can use it to create professional quality content and why AI is set to change the YouTube game forever this year. Every single one of you watching right now will be able to create a brand new YouTube channel in any niche you can think of, and monetization could be just a couple of videos away. So firstly, let's take a look at what's possible with this game-changing tool. Now, many of you know I already have a travel channel, and it did pretty well, but what about those of you who would love to start a travel channel but don't have the time or money to actually go and travel? Well, in this case, you can just get in video to do it for you. So I'm just gonna put a single prompt in here that says, showcase a variety of street food vendors from around the world, focus on sizzling pans, colorful ingredients, and quick hand preparing food. These cuts should be quick and exciting with malfortune and close ups of the food. If I click generate video, it's now given us a full video based on street food around the world. So let's give it a play. So we're in like Thailand here, like a street food From store From bustling vendor. streets to hidden alleys, the world's greatest culinary treasures are often found right on the street. Swift hands craft, sizzling delights. That's incredible. That is incredible. Bursting with flavor. From New York to New Delhi. Indian there. Each corner oh. tells a tasty tale. Back in New Delhi. Noodles dance. Spices sing. And grills serenade the senses. Every bite tells a story of tradition, innovation, and pure culinary passion. This is street food, a global feast for the senses, served with a side of adventure. I'm not sure about you, but that is incredible. Like the detail it goes through, the narrator itself, the background music, the shots, like every edit you saw in that was completely done from scratch with AI. Like it's never been done before. That's a complete unique video. There's no stock footage, there's no nothing. Like that was all done through AI. And the quality was absolutely insane. To think that that, would, that came from just this small prompt here is just insane. So I'm gonna show you something even cooler now. So there's so many possibilities with in video AI. You can create so many different types of videos, but what I'm gonna show you next is something that's been created. It just blows my mind how this is even possible. So the next text prompt I'm gonna use is create a 30 second ad for YouTube about KFC if it made electric cars. Use wide cinematic shots and close up shots from product time to time. If I click generate video, this is what it's gonna give us. First Buckle all, up America, KFC is serving up something mind. electrifying. Introducing the Colonel Mobile where finger licking good meets zero emissions. Enjoy the convenience of KFC's drive-through. That's sick. With our cutting edge, eco-friendly technology. That is sick. KFC so Electric, finger licking good for the planet. That's just incredible, that's sick. Like the amount of detail that actually goes in in like generating images or videos about KFC is just mind blowing. They've got it like, perfectly right there. Like I actually personally think that's incredible. I don't know about you guys, but like having that generated from a single tiny text prompt, like just shows the capabilities of this is just insane. And I mean, we've all seen by now how weird that Jaguar advert was that probably cost them millions of dollars to make. And within one simple text prompt, like I've created my own, just as weird, just as cool, just as funky, and mine costs like less than $100. Now you've seen the possibilities. I'm gonna show you exactly how to use it, and we'll run through all of the tips and tricks you need to use to get the best out of this tool. So then I'm gonna now run you through the entire process that I go through when I generate videos with InVideo AI. So once you sign up, you'll be brought to this screen here which is basically like the single text prompt screen it's super basic super like simple and of course we want the v3 which is like the latest model that gives you 
every feature you could possibly want. And here you have like, give me a topic, premise, or detailed instructions in any language. And you've got 32,000 characters here. So you could go as detailed as you possibly want. Like I say, like these create full YouTube videos, not just clips. You could literally create a short movie in here. Down here, you've got create short video. You've got to make explainer video. And these are basically workflows. So if I click on workflows, we then have like templates of different videos. So we've got short videos, explainer videos, animated videos, got TikTok shop videos if you want to create one of those, generative ad, look, we've got Disney, Pixar, animated videos, hyper-realistic, documentary, short films and all that kind of stuff. So I love the hyper-realistic stuff and the documentary is like, I prefer to make my content look as real as possible. I'm gonna get NVIDIA AI to create me a short documentary film based on a time traveler from America who goes back and experiences medieval England. Now, as I said, like you have 32,000 characters here. And the more detail you give, the better. As beginners, sometimes we might think, mm, I actually don't really know how to get, like provide that much detail. Just use AI to help you. So ChatGPT can be your best friend here. So I basically said, are you able to create detail prompts specifically for NVIDIA AI? And it said, yes, it's gonna do blah, blah, blah. So then I'm not gonna run through this, like pause this if you want the actual prompt, but I basically asked for a long form video, hyper-realistic and the idea I have in mind. And now it's given me all of this. So. It's given me the entire scene breakdown. It's given me scene two, scene three, scene four, scene six, sound design, voiceover, smooth transitions, so all of that. So basically all I'm gonna do, I'm just gonna copy this, go to InVideo, paste it in here. But first I'm gonna select my workflows. I wanna create a short film. And then here we now have like the template. Create a one minute or you have up to five minutes here. Now if you wanted to create a different one, you wanted to create a hyper-realistic film. You could add all the way up to 10 minutes on this one. So, but I'm gonna choose a short film. Now you could do YouTube Shorts, TikTok, Instagram Reels, but of course I want like the horizontal YouTube. If you chose YouTube Shorts, TikTok or Instagram Reels, you'll get a vertical video. I'm gonna keep it on YouTube. I'm gonna paste the prompt in here from ChatGBT. Now here it says use only generated clips and it has like a drop down menu. It says generated images or only stock media. Now, of course we want generated clips because we want like in video to create these clips for us. If you click on only stock media, it's gonna pull all the kind of stock footage it's got from its stock library, which can work okay if you're gonna do like a top five facts about London, but I want like a fully unique generated video straight from AI, I want like perfect. So I'm gonna select only generated clips and you've got all of these kind of like different filters and different like types of content. Now I'm gonna clip hyper-realistic because I want it as realistic as possible. I want the viewer to kind of watch this video and feel like they've gone back in time with the actual person. So I'm gonna click hyper-realistic. And now down here, you can even add like additional things too. So you can add background music, add languages, subtitles, voice actors, watermark, music preference. So language, of course, I want in English, but you could choose any of these. Like there's so many there, Turkish, Polish, Czech, Greek. Now you can choose who does the voiceover for you. So I'm going to go male. I want a clear American voice and for the narrator. So that's fine for me. And then just click continue. And then it's basically now added all the stuff you want into the prompt for you. So it's basically copied my prompt and added its own settings, which was the workflow down here we just clicked on. And all I've got to do now is click generate video. And it's going to take a few minutes. So it's going to start analyzing all the text. It's got the title, it's got the preparation, it's got the shot list, which is like all the different shots and camera angles and everything like that. It's then going to take us to this screen here so we can add even more here now. So of course we've got generative media, the audience, you can literally choose an audience now. I'm going to go, you've got history bus, travel enthusiasts or documentary fans. And I'm going to go more for, I want it to feel like more of a documentary. So I'm going to click documentary fans. Media pace, I'm gonna go for normal. I don't like things that are like too like too fast paced. And then platform, of course, is YouTube. Now I'm gonna continue. This is just a one minute long film, guys. Just as an example, you, of course, you can do anywhere from like five, 10, 20 minute videos. But just for this example, we'll do like a one minute one just to show its capabilities. All right then, we now have our video done. This is the first edit. As you can see, it's 58 seconds long. Uh, let's give it a quick play. As I step through the shimmering blue portal, the world around me transforms. Modern London vanishes, replaced by a chaos of wooden structures and narrow, winding streets. The air is thick with the pungent aroma of smoke, unwashed bodies and something I can only describe as medieval funk. Welcome to 14th century England where life expectancy averages a mere 30 years, bubonic plague is a constant threat, and the gap between rich and poor is astronomical. But what if I told you that this grimy, smelly version of London was one of the most powerful cities in the world? As I dodge horse-drawn carts and sidestep piles of who knows what, the energy around me is palpable. This fortress isn't just for show, it's a symbol of England's military might capable of withstanding sieges for months 
thanks to advanced architecture and strategic planning. That's unreal. So the, the detail that went in, so, he, so obviously you sort of start, he walked through his time portal and he like they compare modern day London and then they go straight into like medieval London where they go through the streets, they have close up of people's faces. It shows the castles, like the cobbled streets and all that kind of stuff that that is actually unreal. And the fact that this is completely brand new, I did this all from a single text prompt is just like insane. And it took me a couple of minutes to make. Now, the best thing is, if you didn't like anything here, you could go on to edit and actually edit any of these things here. So it's broken down the text into like scenes. So if you didn't like anything, all you've got to do is click on here and then like go on generative media and you can click on generate new media, uh, describe the scene. So let's say 1700 London. So now I can just click generate clip and it's gonna give me a brand new clip from that text prompt that I can then add into this video. And now this is what it's given us. So this is a brand new clip and we've got Unreal. So like, a, like I asked for a horse and cart, in like 1700s England, cobble streets, unbelievable. So this is what's possible with AI. And all I have to do now is just click replace. And then that changes that entire scene for me. So once you're happy with all the actual clips inside, just click apply and then add save changes. And that's then gonna update your actual video for you. If you wanted to go even further, click on edit again. And you can actually change the music if you had like a different preference in music. I actually quite like the music that's on there already. Uh, you can change the script. So every single word that's said, you can amend here. So let's say, as I step through the shimmering blue portal, the world around me transforms. I could change like, let's say the modern world around me. So like you have full capacity to change as much of the text you want. And then settings as well. So you have like overlay presets, you've got subtitle presets, text presets, special sound effects master volume music master volume, all that kind of stuff. So like it can go so deep, which is just incredible. So when you're happy with the video, all you're gonna have to do is click download and you can click no watermarks, AI video branding. Of course we say none as well. And then download resolution, full HD, 1080p. Click on continue. And then I'm gonna have my brand new historical medieval England video ready to go straight to post on my brand new YouTube channel. Now this is literally the only AI tool right now that can create fully customizable 10 minute long videos with all of these features. Now Sora got released a long time ago, but it's still not fully open to the public and it can only do like basic clips. Same with Runway, same with Luba Labs. Like they're, they're quite useful tool, but they're so basic in what they can actually produce. Whereas in video, the way you can actually produce a 10 minute to 20 minute long, fully customizable, full detailed videos, is just way above all the competition within that space right now. But there's actually even more features you can use within our video. You can use ad voice. You can literally clone your own voice. And every single video I post from now on can be narrated using my voice. So it might sound like I'm actually creating the video, but it's with AI and they've just used my voice. It's just incredible. The detail they can actually go to is just insane. You've also got text to clip so I could just generate a really short clip here really quickly. So if I wanted to create a really short clip of let's say like Superman, I could do that really quickly now. Text to image, again, just like your standard like image generator, super useful to use. Photo to clip, text to clip and preset libraries. So there's so much you can do here. The possibilities are genuinely endless. Now you can try in video AI for free and I would recommend everybody do that. But if you want to use the generative capabilities, I highly recommend that you go for the generative plan that starts at $96 a month. It's the one I have and it gives you the most bang for your buck with 15 generative minutes each month. Now this will save you hundreds if not thousands of dollars if you were otherwise spending this on editing, animating and all the other production costs. So guys, look, I know some of you might find this slightly expensive, but I would only recommend that you do this if you're serious about taking YouTube full time. If you're one of those people who don't really wanna show your face on camera, you have like big ambitions of content, but you're not really sure how to do it, or if you wanna start a travel channel or you can't afford to travel yet, maybe invest in a tool like this because it gives you endless possibilities to start pretty much any niche you could possibly think of. It's something to think about guys, like if you do want to take this seriously, then you do need to look at serious tools like in video. It is a market leading tool. There's nothing else out there like at the moment, which reflects its price. So definitely consider it. Watch this video again if you need any more information. And yeah, any questions, leave them down in the comments box below and I'll try my best to get back to you. Thank you very much for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. See you in the next one. Goodbye.